The Velux Five Oceans Round the World Yacht Race came to an exciting conclusion today as American Brad Van Loo secured an impressive victory in the 2010-2011 edition of the event. The man from Charleston crossed the finish line at 8.52pm local time in the waters off La Rochelle on the west coast of France from where this epic adventure had got underway eight months ago. As well as carrying off the overall honours, Van Loo won all five of the ocean sprints contested beating off fierce competition from the four other elite skippers who started the event back in October. The 43-year-old is now also the first American to ever sail solo around the planet three times. Van Loo has completed over 30,000 miles alone at sea, in some of the harshest and most dangerous environments known to man. The American has overcome mountainous waves, biting cold, gale force winds and searing heat on his way to the top step of the podium. During the final leg of the race, Van Loo had been pursued relentlessly by British rival Chris Stanmore Major, since the fleet of Eco 60 yachts left Charleston two weeks ago on their traverse of the Atlantic. However, Van Loo fought off his younger challenger to secure that clean sweep of all five ocean sprints something the former pilot managed to do when he took part in the 2002-2003 edition of the race, a feat never achieved before in the history of the Velux Five Oceans. So after a final 3,809 nautical mile journey across the Atlantic, Brad Van Loo arrived in La Rochelle Harbour to a hero's welcome. So good to see you. Can you believe this? We're back right where we started. With his 60-foot yacht, Le Penguin, safely tied up dockside, the man from Charleston could finally celebrate what had been an outstanding achievement and a world-class display of solo ocean racing. These events take uh, a huge amount of effort and a huge amount of commitment from not just me, but the whole family and the whole team and all the media team and the man race management team. And it's all going to come to a very quick end. And um, you know, I'll be left with uh, some fantastic memories, and one of which is the fact that I won and that I dominated. <laughs> some of the things that I achieved this race has set me apart from anybody in history as far as American single-handing goes. So um, I'll think about that and decide what it means to me. I mean, it's not going to mean a lot to a lot of people, but it's going to definitely mean something to me and something to a few people that care about this sport. It's been a special moment in my life. I mean, in some ways, this is an incredibly solo challenge. Um, but in many other ways, it's as much of a team sport as any other team sport there is. And in some ways, even more than that, in that it takes commitment from the family to even allow for the whole thing to happen. It seems like years ago that I was here in some ways, and in some ways it seems like it has been two days. I mean, it's, it's a very um, interesting mind game to play on yourself, to leave from some place in a sailboat by yourself, to sail around the world to get back to that exact same place. 